There was tension in a Kadalo community as some youths barricaded the road leading to the College of Education with bonfire. The youths who brandished placards and chanted solidarity songs were at loggerhead with the provost of the college over what they described as victimization of their indigents working at the college by the provost, Professor Ame Owahu. Spokesperson for the protesters alleged that the provost is fond of maltreating their indigents just as he has allegedly refused to employ any member of the community since his assumption of office at the college. It is a peaceful protest. To let the people know, to let the common governor know, to let everybody in Edo State know that we are tired of Professor Amewangu of this institution. Ever since he came, yes. victimizations of indigenous has been on. No uh, good roads. In fact, workers have not been paid. He's victimizing our indigenous who are there. Apart from that, you know, since his resumption into this school, he has not single-handedly or employed any of the youth as we are standing here. I want to tell Professor Ame Unwaro, please leave our sons alone. While the protests by the community youths were going on at the college junction, a similar exercise was being staged at the college premises by members of College of Education Academic Staff Union. The staff were protesting their alleged undue victimization of their members by the provost. The protesters also complained about the alleged non-payment of their three month salaries, among other allegations. A spokesman for the staff, who is the chairman of the union, Comrade Omonua, declared that the union has gone on strike with immediate effect. We have resolved that uh, we proceed on indefinite strike immediately. We will not be able to do any work and we won't do any work until our bank accounts begin to ring, of our, begin to alert us that there are salaries there. And then the transfer money of 30 million is given to us. Then the promotion area for 2010 is given to us. They had to smuggle a CV. They said they cited and had and put up a date that is at variance with my original bet dates and based on these i demanded to note to see the file the papers as they are alleged they denied me access to it reacting through a telephone interview the provost of the college of education professor ame owangu debunked the allegations professor owangu said that he has employed quite a number of indigents since his assumption of office he added that those suspended were found wanting by the school whose issues will be resolved soonest Professor Wang also spoke on the issue of own salaries. We are doing a prisoner right now. And in the process of being a prisoner, we found out that some members uh, offended the law. For example, the person we are talking about falsified his age. And we told him to explain his explanation was not satisfactory. And we suspended him. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Because that is our procedure. As for the salary, all our financial problems we have documented, we are taking to government. And you know the Congress governor is staying very proactive. He ran to our rescue and gave us a grant of 14 million. Meanwhile, part-time students' exam is supposed to end in two days' time. Ferdinand Osakwe reporting.